Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. How cute is that walrus? It's the stamp, stamp set. Will walrus be friends? I just think that's so cute. And I couldn't resist making three kind of portholes. Um, I did a trio of circles forever ago with a snowman stamp set we had donkeys years ago. And I wanted to do the same. Now, in those days, we had punches that nested and layered really really easily but we now have a half inch gap between our circles so here's my one and a half and I'd quite like one and three uh, one and five eighths we don't have that we don't even have one and three quarters so I brought in my layering circles framelits so that I could get this nice little border around so I've punched and this so but let's get going right I need some whisper white and I'm going to stamp all of my walruses. Which one shall I go for? Um, I definitely want the one with the seagull on his head because I think that's really cute. Um, I haven't done this one. I'll have that one. And should I have this peekaboo one? Or that one? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. This is so difficult. We'll go for that one. I don't think I've used that one either. Okay, so let's make sure they're all prepped and ready. And oh, that's not big enough. It'll do that way because I really only want the head part. So I've got my memento ink and take that one there. And I'm going to go round because I want to be able to punch all of them out as a circle. Okay, so one and a half inch circle. Let's put that away to one side. That is just ridiculously cute, isn't it? <laughs> and then that one there. And that one there. Right, so I'm going to pop those off to one side. I'm just going to quickly clean my stamps because I'm here and I can and I do that. And the stamping scrub is quite possibly my best friend in the world. And pop those back in there. And I want to get out my little fish. And then a phrase. So I've got, thanks big time, it's your birthday, ready or not. Just floating by to say hi from all of me, I'll, I will walrus be your friend. I was trying to work out where ready or not would go, but it's, I think maybe it does go with it, it's your birthday, ready or not. But I will walrus be your friend, I think so. I'm going to take that one and just have it ready as much as anything. And... Um, I'm waiting for the black to dry that's why I'm not doing anything other than prepping I want this black to fully dry before I start colouring and this one I'm going to line it up on my block and there we go so kind of with this I only need my smoky slate but I'm going to have a little bit of blue for this one here so I'm going to go barley blue. Shall I go Barney Blue or Seaside Spray? Let's go Seaside Spray. It kind of makes sense, really. Is that that pair? It is. So, all on the light first, and I'm just going to go all the way across the bottom. And then a little bit of dark. Across the Underneath the those um, the waves there, there we go. And then I'm going to use the thin end just to colour in a couple of those drops that you can see. And then now I'm going to come in with my. Did I pull out grey granite again? I've done. I've done it again. I'm sneaky slate. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to come in with the light on this one 
um, on all of the face but not the tusks. I'm going to come with a dark on the, is it called a muzzle? I don't know. So that's that one done. Do this muzzle as well while I'm here. Again, avoid the tusks. And come in with the dark across the... I want to say creases, but I don't know that it is, but you know what I mean, that bit of the walrus's tummy where he's crinkled. How cute is he? Okay, and then we've got light again. And again, avoiding those tusks. I saw a funny um, meme the other day and it was a picture of two rhinos. And the caption was, rhinoceroses are unicorns that have let themselves go. Because obviously the picture was, I mean, rhinoceros is quite rounded. But they have a horn and I thought, that's about right. And seeing these tusks, it's just, a, it's just reminded me. Okay, so they're done. I'm just gonna come in again with the light of this one. So what I can do is I can put them together. Now I'm not gonna do the die cutting now um, because I've already done it, but yes, it was this, one of the circles, you get billions of circles in the layering circles, framelits. And it's that one that I think is the second smallest of the plain circles. And it gave me that lovely little border round. So I'm going to get those on. With snail. So obviously you need three of them. And I've got my cardstock. So I've taken a piece of cardstock and I've cut it in half and scored it in half. And obviously I've gone with basic black. My piece of Whisper White measures, because I work in metric for cards, half a centimetre shorter and narrow. You'd go for about a quarter to, an, you know, an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. And this is the bit I'm going to work on now, because I want to get these layered on. And then I know where I can do my stamping around them. So where's my one with the blue? There's my blue. And I'm going to go the opposite way this time. So in the middle to offset to the right, and this one I'm going to take to the left at the bottom and then to the right, to the left at the top. And now I know where I can fit my words. So let me just stamp this here. Just make sure I've got it the right way up. And I can put that in there. And then start putting in my fish. So there's three that are swimming in that direction. I'll just check I've got that one the right way up. I'm going to have just five. And I'm going to grab some colours. So I want a red. I'll take Dark Poppy Parade. And what's that one? Dark Pumping Pump Pumpkin Pie. Dark Daffodil Delight. Dark Call Me Clover and light night of navy i'm going to create myself a little rainbow and with these i'm not worrying about the shading so much i might use the thin end the bulleting end so this is less about shading and more about tropical fish Do you know that's a nice orange from pumpkin pie? It's not a not, pumpkin pie is not a colour I like all that much. That's quite a nice version of it. That was maybe a little too dark. Maybe should have gone for light shaded spruce. It's okay.
There we go, they're done. And all I need to do now is pop it on the card. So, sew on the back, pop it on the front, and I will walrus be your friend. How cute are they? So cute. So cute. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.